Hello everyone, welcome back to Bloodborne Reborn, where we're playing as a waste of skin, and I have climbed up to the top of Kanehurst Castle to take on Marta Ligarius. This might be tricky. I've done a little training on my other character, but from memory, this was an extremely difficult fight. Where one bad hit from here or there may take me out completely, but I should be slightly stronger than my last uh, run. And I certainly didn't expect to beat a Breitus quite as... It wasn't easy to defeat a Breitus, but it didn't take that many tries, all things considered. So, hopefully my experiences with Ligarius won't be so bad. It's unfortunate that he combines one of the game's trickier bosses with one of the game's more annoying lantern runs. It's not quite as bad as the forest, but getting through the ghost room and climbing up to the top of the thing is a bit annoying because of the blow dart guy. But what can you do? If I'm lucky, this will go quite easily. If I'm unlucky, this will take quite a while. possible you don't want him to corner himself because you want to be able to get behind him when he changes phases but he's being an idiot. I hate him so much sometimes. Let's see if I can get him to at least walk out into the middle of the uh, yard a bit and then get behind him. If I do that, hopefully now he'll back up backed up into the middle of the stage. That is good. Even better. However, I still want to carefully direct him to where I want him to go. Ah, these things are so annoying. They have very bad tracking, but they're so slow. Oh crap. I should not have sidestepped that. Damn it, he's doing it again. Look, he's backed up all the way into the wall like an idiot. Oh well. Let's carefully get him out. It's totally worth it to do this, but it is so annoying how much he likes to backstep into the wall. God, get out of there. Okay, this, this will work. Or it worked. Ah, oh, damn it, I just, did I, nah. He's got the buff, ah, oh, that was what I was trying to avoid this whole time. Now I've got to deal with this ghastly idiot. He's much easier when he doesn't have the buff. Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to carry that. Doesn't help. Okay, I'll take what I can get for the moment. Hopefully there's a... nope. Ah, oh, I could have uh, done something about that. Ah, oh, damn it, now I'm gonna have to waste it on this. Nope. Ah. 
going to be a little hard to read for a second here. Yeah? Another one of these. Is it still going? Oh, you bastard. I shot that. Oh, come on. Hit detection, please. At least he's not killing me in one hit. Nope. Eat Cleaver. You bastard. Ah, oh, crap. I pushed them the wrong way. Ah. Oh. Well, this is bad. Okay. And of course he does it again. And in a place where I can't get to it. Literally stuck it in the building. You asshole. You deserve this at least. Yeah, try again the other day, huh? Oh! What was that? Some sort of weird double hit. Oh, I hate you so much. This is why using Bone Ashes in this fight is annoying. Oh crap. And... Yep. Of course. Of course that was when he'd pull out the stops. I shouldn't have attacked him from the front. So the double Great Lakes are definitely doing their job. The uh, impact of his attacks are a lot softer than I remember. But I still can't take a three hit combo in the face. Oh. Those spells do hurt a lot still, even though I don't usually get hit by them. If you're gonna do that, I'm just gonna mess with you. chill in the other corner for a little bit. I know it's a waste of time, but he's really quite leisurely about this part of the fight. The slow walking goon. And if I can get behind him and cancel his buff, that would be great. Because I'm pretty certain I wouldn't have lost the fight last time if he hadn't been buffed, because I, he wouldn't have uh, been able to break my... Uh, my combo so easily because he staggers really easy when he's not uh, buffed. Damn it. Damn it. Why is it so hard to get behind him sometimes? During my practice runs that never happened. Now all of a sudden I just can't do the simplest thing in the world, which is just get behind the bastard. Because I can't get behind the bastard. What? What the hell was that? Nope, he's not into it. He's into that though. This guy has had some weird uh, 
Some weird things happened to it lately. Not that I'm complaining, they've been in my favor so far, but... Oh no, don't do this. Don't do the endless sword combo bullshit. Surely you've done enough to uh, upset me already. Oh no, I hate this. It's literally the worst thing you can do. Just go into an endless combo of uh, throwing the sword down. Can't. I can't risk attacking that. Because that's what got me killed last time. I'm trying to punish this thing. See, look, he tried for it. I got stuck on something. Oh, I shouldn't go for the second one there, but... What the hey. Look at this bullshit. Okay, okay. Very well. Every time I equip Bone Marrow Ash, he does that. It's pretty much been every single time so far. So I should stop doing it, but... Damn it. I'd be fucking it up. if you give me something to work with here. That's not something to work with. Ah. Yep, the minute I try and do something about that attack, I get smashed in the head. Well, at least that's not smashed in the head. And he could have done a three hit and killed me there. Now I have to calm down and not fuck it up. This, this fight is a farce. Stop doing that. Enough of you. Ah, only two tries. Okay, I was... I guess I was worrying over nothing. That wasn't such a big deal. Whew! I guess having a plus ten weapon helps too. <laughs> Although, I think I could have done that with a six. Probably would have been a bit harder without the, uh... Eh. I had the Great Lake pretty early, the first one anyway. I would have had to combine it with perhaps the regular lake, and that wouldn't have been so bad. Oh well. The point is he's dead, and he should stay that way. Crown of Illusions. What are you going to show me? Well, we all know. <laughs> Guess after this I gotta go uh, finish Albert's quest. And then after that I gotta go finish uh, Aline's quest. After that, maybe we can go to the Hunter's Nightmare. I could kill the Wet Nurse and get the rock. I just don't really like having the hunter's dream on fire the whole time. It bothers me for some reason. Mind you, I should probably put that feeling aside. I mean, it's not going to help. I claim no subject, but here lieth our throne. Kneel or get thee gone. Hmm. Well, 
as tempting as it would be to get thee gone, let us loot the place or do something. Yeah, let's kneel. I have a crown. Ruler of the vile bloods and sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered, and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou didn't Uh well well an odd hunt. Yeah. I don't mind. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plot if thou would, I prithee. Well, well. Since you didn't uh, program covenants in properly, we can join all of them. Now we too. A Canehurst badge, however, I will take with a great deal of enthusiasm. We await for the odd. Now let's get that unopened summon. There we go. Is it unopened or unsigned? It's probably unsigned. Not the point. Let's go back to the hunter's dream for a second. Uh, I do want to buy the Kanehurst knight armor, or whatever it's called. The metal armor. It's one of my favorite things to combo into other things. However, we should also do a couple other things. First things first, we have to go talk to Alfred, I guess. Also, just temporarily, we'll change our rune over to corruption, because we're going to need that in a bit too. Uh, I suppose the best way to get to Alfred would be from just the Cathedral Ward, I think. Let's hope. If possible, I want to go, go to Alfred. Actually, the easiest way probably would have been from the Forest Lantern, now that I think about it, but... Too late now. Alright. Oh, Is uh, defeating Mikolash enough to have caused that uh, quest to proceed? Now let's see what happens. We might unexpectedly get further along than I thought. Hello. You're not doing so well, are you? Well, I'm afraid I need your, uh... I need that third umbilical cord. And I'll take your shoes, because I am petty that way. <laughs> It'll do, somehow. I mean, really, I should just murder everybody here, but... I guess I'm just not that bad a role player. If some of them can survive the night, I'm more than happy to have that happen. Even if some of you are on drugs. <laughs> well, I guess at least the church giants won't bother me too much. Even a bunch of items out here I never really bothered to pick up, did I? Some good old madman's knowledge. I, I can't say I'm too fond of walking past this guy, though. Although he's not going to cause me too much grief. Asshole. And the crow 
which always steals the damn camera lock on. Ooh, Shaman Bone Blade. That's actually pretty good. Hello, Alfred. Oh, now let's just tell me. Ah, a bit of once. And if the, the Aha. Is that the sigil of Kanehurst? I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. Okay. I will depart immediately. But first, a token of And we get our wheel hunter badge. Uh, cool. I feel praise that and let us cleanse these tarnished streets. You have anything else to say after that? It has been an honor. Let us clean and may the good blood. Very well. I'll see you later. <laughs> and what a sight it will be. Um, I need to get. This might seem like weird, but I feel like I would be better coming from the uh, the other route. If I want to get up to where the cathedral is. We'll see if we can fit. Might be worth putting in a little uh, video break. Hang on a sec. Well, we got this far at least. Hello. Oh. Is that you again? I'm afraid I've made a bit of a blunder. I'm just though. Don't worry. I've taken blood. Enough to save an old woman. No more dreams for me. This is my last chance. What a fool I am. But that thing still turn back. Well, I never do what my elders tell me. <laughs> Although, if you think I'm going to give you a fair fight here, you are badly mistaken. If I have my way with this, this will be an absolute cheese fest. I mean, it's really too bad that he uh, doesn't have ammunition worth a damn. Hey man. We just gotta find the right uh the right spot. Oh crap. That uh almost took me out immediately. Of course it did. Yeah, if I could just get him to come at me, bro. One time when he ran at me was the best. Now he's being coy. Oh, hello. Well, at least he's not going to shoot me this way. Oh, okay. I guess I've mostly overdone it, huh? I 
Come on. Don't normally have to try this hard to get him to come down here. Did they fix him? Somehow I don't think that's probably not the case. Just gotta push him back. Crap. I did it wrong. Let's turn back into something sensible. Don't throw shit at me. Thank you. That was completely dishonorable, but I got a blood drag, which is what I wanted. Blood rapture. And now, hey, I took care of it for you. Don't you ever listen to your elders? Nope. No matter. You did save my life. I don't seem to be up for this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. Hmm. Here. Oh, there you this go. This too is Hunter's work. But it bears no honor. Oh, that's okay. Never what I just did was not honorable. To carry. Oh, let me rest. I'll be... <laughs> Very well. Oh, I can get crow further stuff now, can't I? Also a good thing. I think we've got most of the, uh, the non-DLC... No, wait, I'm missing one. Ah, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the executioners. Of course I am. Well, let's... do some more lantern hopping and, uh, get that taken care of. Although, for most things from now on, the Hunter uh, rune is probably the best one for the extra stamina regen. So let's stick that on. Although I have to remember to take it off if I do any co-op, because it can screw with that sometimes. Uh, where are we going? We're going back to Kanehurst, aren't we? I never like... Uh, like, you should... I guess I should be able to warp to that, but I never like doing it. I think I've already said this before in my other Bloodborne playthrough, but... I will re reiterate it now. That, uh, the impact is somewhat lost if you, uh, just teleport right next to him. I like walking in as if I've, uh, discovered some sort of terrible thing in, in progress. <laughs> Enjoying that? <laughs> oh, look at this. Well, isn't it wonderful? Now Master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. Okay. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> I've... Nope, nothing else to say? Very well. Time for some more lantern hopping. Ugh, this part gets tiresome.
I was never quite so bothered with the whole not being able to to uh, teleport from point to point in this game. Because for most of the game it's not really an issue. You don't really need to teleport to that many places in that fashion. Especially with chalice dungeons also being a thing, like point to point transfers with those wouldn't work very well. Probably. But, uh, yeah, when you're doing things like this and you have to reload areas and keep going like that, this is where it starts getting annoying. Also, when you can't decide which gravestone has the one place you need to go. Also a grand died. <laughs> grand old time. They'll get there eventually, hopefully before the PlayStation decides my 15 minutes of recording is up. <sighs> the PlayStation recorder is very convenient, but... I really wish there was a setting where it would automatically start the next recording when you finish the first one. If you're gonna ma if you're gonna make the hardware limitation argument that it can only have 15 minutes at a time in the uh, in in its buffer or whatever it's using to record, you could still program it in so it could continuously record 15 minute segments. That wouldn't hurt. And it would save me a lot of aggravation, setting it up. Look guys, you are a little below my pay grade at this point. You could probably hurt me, a little. And if I was super duper careless, you could probably kill me, but... I just don't see either of those things happening at the moment. No, oh, they're hard to hit, but one gunshot would uh, take them out. For sure. Now look. I am not really here for you guys. I am here for poor Alfred. Who's decided that his time here is done. And good riddance, to be honest. <laughs> hey, isn't that on my head? Oh well. Radiance. Alright, we're done. Uh, I'll decide what to do next. It'll either be the wet nurse or the DLC. So, find out next time. Bye for now. Damn posing. There we are. Actually, I completely forgot that this was a thing. So let's take care of it now. And we go. While we're in the elevator, let's busy ourselves making sure we have the right... Yep, there we go. Also, let's get the torch out. There we go. Although it looks like someone's left a helpful breadcrumb trail. Hi! You've got yourself in quite a predicament, haven't you? Well, let's, uh, let's do this thing. Right angles are a sign of intelligent life, apparently. So if you want to communicate with other intelligent life, just show them that you understand the concept of right angles. <laughs> I guess apparently they don't exist in nature, or something. This takes such a long time to do. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind, I need your insights. This is going to take a while. This is going to take a real long while. Ugh. Ugh, I don't think beast would affect elemental weapons. <laughs> but, it shouldn't matter. 
Just go down. Thank you. Living string. Got it. <laughs>